Julia, a bit over a year ago, we were all getting excited here at the FT about this mega mining merger between Extrata and Glencore. Glencore, the secretive Swiss trader. Extrata, the sort of mega company that grew from nowhere. It's been over a year later. Um, both reported results against a backdrop of a deal that's soon to happen. Um, how were the results first? Well, understandably, with the turn in the commodity cycle, they, they weren't that good, but w within consensus. So um, Glencore's um, net well, ongoing earnings were down 25%. Um, mostly um, trading helped the company in this instance, so trading um, earnings were up 11%, um, and then their mining arm fell 27%. And although that looks bad, um, in relation to peers such as BHP and Rio, um, it wasn't that bad. Um, and then Extrata's earnings were down 37%. So overall, within expectations, really. And that's interesting, of course, because during the whole debate about the deal, we were umming and ahhing whether mining was a better business than well, trading. Yeah. And at the moment, trading's got the upper hand, of course, as prices roll over. And I guess, again, the backdrop as well is the deal. And the share price in both companies were up today and on expectation that you know this would happen now. Well, this is it. I mean, obviously, there's been rumours that the Chinese regulators, who are the last to approve this deal, were maybe dragging their feet. But, I mean, really, they've got to get that leadership transition out of the way. Um, but um, Glencore certainly seem hopeful that this will be approved. So although no more was m more detail was really given on, on the sort of synergies or anything of the deal today, um, the long stop date's been extended to April to give the Chinese a bit more time. And I think generally the feeling is that it will go through now. And finally on valuation, I guess, these two have kind of traded sideways a bit, I guess, over the last six months. Um, presumably nothing's going to happen really you know, from a share price point of view until we know about the deal. And the deadline's April, right? Yeah, so now the deadline's April 16th, um, and then they've said that they won't be able to give much more until they sort of run the, the process for about 100 days. So we're looking at end of July um, to sort of hear really more details on the synergies that will that will come through. I mean, so far, um, they've sort of touted 500 million in EBITDA savings, um, but I mean, really, they, they're, we're still waiting for more details on that. Well, readers can go online and look at the old um, Lex in-depth calculator, and um, if nothing else, these uh, latest results seem to suggest, at least in the near run, that Extrata got the better of the merger ratio for now. Thank you very much for that update.